got this interesting realization about love. Again, micro approach and macro approach. Micro approach would suggest me to, well, for example, if I love someone, micro approach would just suggest me to feel angry, irritated, uh, scared, or anything like this if um, someone else also love this person uh, it all was based on this idea that we have to fight in order to get someone's attention or someone's energy or anything like this and it also goes from this approach that we are not self-sufficient so it's not enough for us to have ourselves and we are like incomplete and so we need others in order to complete us all that stuff and uh, so we just try to compete with others who uh, love the same people as we so we can you know prove that we are better and actually uh, it's better for that those people that we love to love us <laughs> and um, macro approach is actually based on uh, freedom respect self-respect and being self-sufficient so you're okay um, or I'm okay being around myself. If I love someone, it's great, but it doesn't mean that I try to forbid so like others to love this person as well because it's not my property, you know? <laughs> um, first of all, love is not my property. Second of all, this person is not my property. So, um, I cannot just... Well, in this uh, macro approach, I actually... Well, if someone else loves the person I already love, which sim it simply means that mm, that person also sees this beauty and uniqueness that I see in this person. Because when you love someone, you see uniqueness and beauty of this person, unique beauty of this person. The same as another person sees uniqueness and beauty in this person. So, so can I really claim others to just to stay away of seeing um, the beauty and uniqueness of people that I actually see uniqueness and beauty well it just makes no sense at all actually right so when you just start to think this way you see that actually all the ideas are dust 